The 1031 Exchange Question. What is an IRS Section 1031 Exchange? 1031 Exchange, a simple definition. Specific to real estate, a 1031 exchange is a swap of one or more investment properties for one or more replacement properties of like kind in adherence to strict IRS criteria, which allow capital gains taxes to be deferred. Simultaneous exchange. Quite possibly, the easiest exchange to conceptualize is the simultaneous exchange. Simply put, the relinquished and replacement properties close on the same business day. If there are any issues that result in delay of one, the other must likewise be delayed because if they don't close simultaneously, capital gains may be unintentionally realized. Delayed Exchange The delayed exchange is the most common. In it, the relinquished property is sold before the replacement property is purchased. Because the exchangeor cannot receive the proceeds from the sale, he must use a qualified intermediary to initiate the sale and receive the proceeds. From the time of closure on the relinquished property, the exchangeor has 45 days to identify in writing the replacement property and 180 days to complete the replacement. Improvement Construction Exchange in the Improvement Construction Exchange, the exchange happens in the same sequence as the Delayed Exchange, with the notable exception that the improvement construction of the replacement property can be paid by the Qualified Intermediary with the equity from the relinquished property. All remaining equity must go into the replacement property and ownership transfer before the 180 days expires. Also, the property must be substantially the same property that was identified in the identification period. And finally, the replacement property cannot have less value than before the improvements. Reverse Forward Hot Market Exchange The last exchange is called a reverse exchange or forward exchange in what I nicknamed a hot market exchange. When the process is explained, each of these names will make sense. The common sequence has the liquidation of the property to be relinquished in an exchange first, followed by the direct reinvestment of the proceeds from sale into the replacement property. Capital gains are said to be realized when they are received. In strict adherence to IRS Section 1031, a facilitator or qualified intermediary receives the proceeds from the sale, which include capital gains, on behalf of the exchangeor and as a result, the exchangeor never realizes the capital gain. There are other terms and conditions. However, in a delayed exchange, it is sell first, buy second. The events in a reverse, forward, or hot market exchange are reversed where the replacement event is brought forward in time prior to selling the property to be relinquished. In a starker or delayed exchange, there are strict time constraints. While there are rules to be discussed later that ease timing issues a bit, this sequence can be a challenge in hot markets. In a hot or seller's market, finding suitable like-kind replacement properties may be more difficult and liquidation of a currently held property relatively more easy. To avoid capital gains, the replacement property must be able to absorb all of the equity without retiring any debt when the relinquished property is sold. A confounding issue is the exchangeor cannot complete the replacement prior to sale of the relinquished property. This is accomplished by fully funding the purchase of the replacement property forward in time and having an exchange accommodation title holder EAT, park the title. Generally, to obtain financing, the investor must be able to cede position on the title, which the exchangeor cannot receive prior to closing on the sale of the relinquished property in an open exchange. As a result, a forward exchange is typically a cash deal. Cash deals like hot markets, and hot markets drive inventory lower. This type of exchange can be thought of doing the hard part first finding and securing suitable like-kind replacement property of equal or greater value, having confidence 
Market conditions can accommodate a sale on acceptable terms for the property to be relinquished. The exchange accommodation title holder keeps the title part until the debt and equity from the sale can be placed in the purchased property. Funds are then balanced and title transfer completed. There are three important rules regarding relinquished and replacement properties. The three property rule, up to three properties can be identified within the 45 day period as replacement. One to three identified properties may then be purchased but whatever combination is actually used must be of equal or greater value. The 200% rule, four or more properties may be identified as replacement properties in the 45 day identification period, however, the total cannot exceed 200% of the relinquished property. The 95% exception, the exchanger may exceed three prospective replacement properties and 200% of the relinquished property, however, the exchanger must acquire 95% of what they identified. Final comments. A key concept to understand relative to the 1031 exchange is this. It's not real estate law, it's tax law. Make sure your qualified intermediary, title company, accountancy, or other is knowledgeable in 1031 exchanges. The selection of a real estate professional is vital to the exchange not just because there are performance dates that must be met, but because the real estate is the heart of the transaction. After all, capital gains can be avoided by making no changes in the real estate holdings. Capital gain taxes are levied in the year the gains are taken. Deferring capital gains should be a part of your business plan, not the focus. The replacement property for the exchange must be identified within 45 days after the property being relinquished is sold. The replacement property must be received within 180 days or by the due date of the tax return including extensions, whichever is earlier. If more than one property is being sold within the exchange, the first closing starts both clocks. 180 days is the maximum. An exchange started later in the year may need to have a tax extension filed to access all 180 days, but in no case can it be longer.